My name's Simon Walsh. Um, I'm a UK project manager for 2G Energy. Uh, we're here at British Sugar Site doing the installation of two CHP units. Installation has gone absolutely perfect. We allowed 20 days for installation. We're actually on target to complete on day 14. I would say that's a bonus for ourselves and for, for our client. My name's Andy Harris. I am the Project Health, Safety and Environment Manager within Project Delivery. So on this project we've probably been working on it, well I've personally been working on it for two years, so through development, but British Sugar have been working on AD for probably the past uh, five, six years in various forms. We're at the Berry Sugar Factory at Berry St Edmunds. We're at the northern end of the factory, what was a, an old industrial area of the site. We're developing an anaerobic digester to process sugar beet pulp, which is the fibre left over from processing sugar beet. Uh, my name is Philip Erning. I'm project manager for 2G Energy in Germany. The whole unit is fully containerized and built up in Germany in our factory in Hague. So everything was ready to run when we delivered it here in, to Berry St Edmunds. The big benefit on building those units in Hague is that we have we can build them in our facility. We can work with three sh shifts in Germany, of course, so that everything is way faster than doing it on site, bring all the material to the UK. The team has worked remarkably well on this project. My role is to interface with the clients and our team in Germany. Our health and safety officer, Keith Lightfoot, has gone over to Germany. He's done vast amounts of uh, health and safety training. Once the guys have came over to the UK, they've undertaken CSCS site competency training uh, so they're all certified to work on, on any construction site in the UK. Engines came on a 54 metre vehicle and a police escort, but two vehicle escorts as well. We do have five container sections. The first one who came in was uh, the main section with the engine in it. We built in two six series Yenbacher units into the container. One is the 616 biogas and one is the uh, 620 biogas unit. In total, we are ready to commission, ready to start up the engine after roughly 14 days on site and that's pretty fast and a pretty good benefit on a containerized solution. So each container section includes six containers. We do have the main, the big middle container which we set up first with the engine inside. Then we do have two containers on each side. In the front we have the gas container with the gas pressure system. On the back side we have the water system with the heat recovery system, the plate heat exchanger and the pumps. We do have the containers on the left side, on the bottom side with the control system in it and also the oil uh, storage tanks. We do have a storage for new oil and we do have a storage for waste oil. Both CHP has the high voltage generators on it and for them we also have two HV switch gears which are directly connected to the grid. On top of the container we do have the air ventilation system to get fresh air and cool air into the CHP room to get it cooled down. We do have an air filtering system in it and of course the alternators which keeping the noise inside of the container. The reason we selected this is we see other people doing AD and we've been looking at AD with sugar beet pulp for quite a while now. It gives us an alternative to processing sugar beet pulp as animal feed. It also is interesting for our grower base and we wanted to develop and show that we could process sugar beet pulp as a way of developing the sugar beet market. 